Today is uh, more Rust language workshop stuff. In this case, we have been working through some like introductory Rust content here, right? So this is basically what we have so far. I don't know, 13 pages. So like why Rust is like its own section, right? And then introduction to Rust is like this less than 30 minutes amount of content for how do you how do you get into Rust at all? The why Rust and what Rust is used for has to like target somebody specific, right? And right now uh, it's kind of somebody who is not sure that they want to write Rust, uh, have heard some things about it. Maybe they've heard good things. Maybe they heard weird things. Who knows? And they're kind of like, okay, what is what is Rust? What is it about? Why would I use it? What is it used for? And my main point in all of that content is basically going to be like Rust can take you wherever you want to go, right? Rust is kind of uniquely positioned to do very high level stuff, very low level stuff, and like this whole spectrum of things in between. And that that is a really useful thing to have in general. So you can do web applications, you can do physical devices, you can build, you know, standalone CLI programs, you can do web front end stuff, you can do a kernel, like all of these things, Rust can just be there for you. And then like, things like cargo are also super important. I don't want to use a language that doesn't come with uh, a package manager and an auto formatter and a linter and uh, <laughs> like testing built in and like all that kind of stuff. Followed by like, one of the things that I vaguely remember, because it's been decades for me since I learned how to program, uh, but one of the things that I remember learning a long time ago is I couldn't tell what language was used for what or what it could be used for. So I imagine that there's a bunch of people who are like, I don't know, we'll say like halfway through their first programming language who are like looking at Rust and going, I don't know why I would use some other language. I don't even know what another language can do, right? If you're using JavaScript, it's like fairly obvious that you can build websites. If you're using maybe something else, maybe it's clear that you can do a specific thing, but it's not like, it's hard to just like hear Rust is a general purpose language or Python is a general purpose language and understand anything about what that means. Uh, the culture of like just just having documentation built in is huge, right? Because there are other languages that don't have that, right? Rust Rust has it. Uh, JavaScript doesn't have it, right? There's no like documentation tool for JavaScript. There are a plethora of like third party third party crate like applications that you can use to make documentation, uh, but having one thing that is like every crate is documented like this all items can be documented like this it all builds into this like uniform format that is that is a huge thing 